Um, so if we take a look at the uh, battery technology, uh, if we look here, high voltage battery type, lithium iron phosphate. For the most part, they call these LFP batteries uh, to differentiate them because you know lithium ion and lithium iron sound very similar. Uh, so what are the differences? So lithium ion uh, generally is more energy dense. Uh, so uh, for the weight of the battery, it can hold more energy than an LFP battery, but they cost more to produce. They're more expensive. Uh, they can unleash more, lithium ion batteries can unleash more energy uh, and dump them into the electric motors faster. So generally they offer better like zero to 60 performance, things like that. LFP batteries that what this is equipped with have advantages. LFP batteries cost less to produce. Uh, they don't use rare earth materials like cobalt and other uh, rare earth materials. So, they... so what is special about LFP batteries? They weigh more. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, they don't offer good performance. Your 0 to 60 is not going to be as good uh, as uh, one with lithium ion batteries like my older standard range plus Tesla that uses lithium ion. And uh, I go like a half second faster than 0 to 60 than this thing does. So what are the advantages of LFP? It doesn't sound like there are. Are any advantages? Well, there actually are. Let's go over here to the charging. So lithium ion batteries, those high performance exotic <laughs> batteries I was talking about, they only like to be charged to 80% for daily use. Uh, Tesla will give you a warning message saying that if you charge it over 100%, you could damage your battery. Every once in a while it's okay, but for daily use to have the longest happy life out of your lithium ion batteries, you need to charge it for 80% for daily use. So your 300 mile range really isn't 300 miles of range fully charged because you're not fully charging, you're only charging to 80%. So that 300 mile range turns into like a 260 or 270 mile range. But lithium LFP batteries, see here, we recommend keeping your charge limit at 100% and charging fully once per week. These like to be charged to 100%. This has a fully charged range of 270 miles. So every day you can potentially get close to that full 270 mile range because these batteries like to be charged to 100% and they will, and they prefer it. So that's good. Uh, what else is good about LFP batteries? Well, batteries are pretty new. We don't have too many EVs out there of three, four, 500,000 miles. We have some older Teslas, but uh, LFP batteries could last up to twice as long as lithium ion batteries.